Hi, I'm Ashley Emerson with Kentucky Opera. This is my journey to learn about different creatives, artisans, and athletes in Kentucky. Join me as we all compare creative notes and figure out where their art and skill intersect with the art and skill of singing opera. This is Hoops and High Notes. So we're here with football player PJ Banasor. Perfect. That's how I said. Awesome. Perfect. Who, and you are now an MBA student yes, at University of Louisville, but you played uh, football for University of Louisville. In the broadest sense, when you hear the word training for football, what do you, what do you think of, or what, what does that entail? I'm sure it's more than one thing. I would say Monday to Friday yeah. is preparation for Saturday, which is the game. Uh, Monday is the peak of that preparation, so what we do is we give what is called install. Install is uh, a breakdown of film per position group, and per position group, we break down in our separate meetings and do study, detail, film, notation, and things of that nature after we, after we then come together as a group and then display that practice and efforts to get it corrected and perfected before game day Saturday. Wow, that might be like when I open up my score and I'm studying the, studying the music right. and, ca and catching all the right. intricacies of music or also if I if I practice something and then I listen back to myself and mm -hmm. have to <laughs> have to bite the bullet and it, cringe and be yeah. okay okay I would like to improve here and I would like to do this exactly. there and all that stuff. yeah just polishing for that wow yeah. it's so interesting to me that you guys have both a team that you are playing against that you have planned to to you have strategies and you have plays and all right. of this but you also have most of the time, not in COVID era, an, an audience. You have yeah. a stadium full of people. Yes, ma'am. Do you get your version of stage fright? Or oh, yeah, how do you, 100%. How do you deal with yeah, that? Yeah, so there's definitely a nervous aspect of the game. Like, if you could imagine running full speed into someone wearing plastic um, while trying to execute calls that um, have been rammed into your head, for lack of a better term, throughout the week. Yeah. So to add that to having thousands of people cheering your name, surrounding you, wearing your colors, your jersey. The idea is to block the outside noise out. The studying we have to do to prepare is all mental. In turn, you can use that audience or that crowd to motivate you, uh, especially if you have family members in the audience. And, yeah. Uh, the fans, generally, they dictate the ebbs and flow of the, the program, you know while we're trying to be a good teammate, execute your plays, be a good player, make your coach happy, yeah. you're also trying to make the fans happy. You could substitute so many of the words you just used and put singer, yeah. conductor, director, yeah. uh, audience, the mental focus, it's and right kind there. of distilling everything yeah. that, you've, that you've done and you make it look all easy. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Good. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to hear from someone that has so much experience working in such a dedicated way as a team. What is being a team player to you? Uh, being a team player would probably be described as someone, no matter the given scenario or predicament that they're in, they have the best. They have the team's best interest in mind. There are multiple roles. Ideally, everyone who's on the football team does not play. Uh, yeah. That's just, the, that's life in general. Yeah. So people serve different roles. You could be on the practice squad. Which yeah. I, yeah. Which would be um, giving the offense the look of what the team were playing. As we watch film, we see what they do. Mm -hmm. So we need someone to replicate what they yeah. do in practice. So that would be the practice squad. Their notion of being a team player is, you know, beyond comprehension because... Yes. You know, they have to know I'm doing this to get these guys better who ideally I want to be in their positions, uh -huh. you know, but without me, they don't get better and we don't get better. So we don't win, you know, yeah. so all these different instruments, all yep. these different, these pieces have to fit together like a puzzle for a team to be successful. Yeah, that to me sounds a lot like the role of the understudy okay. in singing where there are frequently people 
who have learned each of the lead roles and they're ready to go on and perform yeah. if the soprano gets sick or if yeah. the tenor gets sick and, mm -hmm. and is incapable of perform or if something, you know, God forbid happens and mm -hmm. they are unable to perform. We call that next man up mentality. Oh, yep. 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 So I can definitely resonate with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. this, maybe this is like a trill. Yeah. <laughs> 